Chester? Yes? When do you think the doctor will arrive? How do I know? Some days he is a little bit late, other days he's on time. He can be early too sometimes. Well, the poor man must be dreadful busy. Not busy at all. Not that that's making him late. It's that wife of his out gallivanting with the peel WI all the time, instead of getting tea ready for the poor bark. Oh, don't be too jowl on the poor woman. A little cup of tea and a couche never did no one any harm. It's not the cup of tea or the couche that's doing the harm. If I had my wife was out gallivanting instead of having a meal ready on the table, I tell you what, did she get the old size nine? Shh, shh, there's somebody else coming. Sit down. Evening. Little pick of the coop in tonight. Aye, and it's not too warm out either. It's all the same since they nationalised these doctors, you know. No service at them. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they do their best to please you. Their best, you say? Listen to the woman. Only last week herself here was middling more. So had the doctor come round and put a little sight on her. Just as he was going out again, I thinks to myself, I can kill two birds with one stone here. So I says to the man, would you come round and have a look at me old sow? I think she's got a touch of the modern. <laughs> the same medicine wouldn't have done at all. <laughs> nah, but I thought if he could cure me wife, he'd be able to cure me pig. <laughs> But he just laughed at me and said he was in a hurry and hooked it. Where is he anyway? Later than normal today. Well, I saw him parked out... His old bogey parked outside the parson's door when we passed. Oh, and is it poor, the poor fellow not well? Or is it his children? I think it must be his rheumatics again. He's been keeping a few old hens there at the back of the farmhouse and the weather's getting mighty cold. <laughs> He should be wearing his red flannel drawers. I remember once, boys, out on the old fishing, out on Peel there, uh, on the heron. And I took a touch of the screwmatics bad, awful. <laughs> no doctor to be had out there. Anyway, we got back in, and I went to see some old woman out in the country at Ronag there. And you know what she tell me to do? What? Scotch myself with Jenny Nettles. <laughs> oh, and what happened? I couldn't sit down for a week, boys. <laughs> Stop your grinning, you little spithick. Now sit down there. Evening, missus. The child not well. No, he's not. Oh, the poor little buck. I thought there was something wrong. <laughs> What's the uh, child doing with a pot on his head, missus? <laughs> well, you might well ask. Oh, I've come to see if the doctor would get it off for us, for we can't. How on earth did he get it on? Well. I left him outside the shop when I went in to get a loaf. And when I came out, he was like that. He must have been playing Davy Crockett. <laughs> Aye. Who's he? Well, he's a little fella in the good book who killed a big philistine with a cannibal once. <laughs> Maybe I could shift it for the child. Shut your bother, you little spithick. I'll get no tea when you get home. <laughs> Thank you kindly, mister. But his head's a bit sore. His father and me and all the neighbours, we've been heisting at it all afternoon and we can't get it off. What went on is bound to come off. Not with his ears. <laughs> they catch on it like hooks. Not to mention his nose. He got that from his father. You forget about the child's ears. Come and sit down. I don't see how they'll ever get him out. This is a dreadful affair, boys. Worst case yet. What on earth are we going to do? How on earth 
Are you gonna make broth with a child's head in the pot? <laughs> How is the little bot gonna get a meal? That's just it. I can't feed him, I can't give him a drink. Oh, the poor little fella must be dreadful hungry. See here, I've got a nice piece of homemade bonnet in my bag. Oh, no! You must have sat on it! <laughs> oh, well, never mind. I'll break a bit off and rough it up under the saucepan until it reaches his mouth. It's no good. His father tried at dinner time. He stuffed a sausage up his nose. <laughs> it fair near choked him. The poor little crater must be thirsty too. Don't mention it. He's done nothing but grin about being thirsty all mm. afternoon. Dear, dear, dear. It's no good. We'll have to wait until it's off. You can't pour anything inside a pot that's upside down now, can you? Why don't you stand him on his head and pour something in? He might get something better than nothing. He might get a little slock. Jock? <laughs> Jock, I've got a little bit of jock here, boys. This'll do the trick now. We'll give him a little drink. You howl him upside down, and I'll pour in the jock. I wouldn't do that now. Why not? Congestion. Blood to the head. This stuff wouldn't go to anyone's head. We've got to do something. Yes, yes, but old Tommy Tinpot, out Dorby way there, got the athletic fit to blood to the brain once. Well, don't blame me if the child dies of hunger and starvation before the doctor arrives. This will be the end of the poor little creature. This just isn't on, boys. We're going to have to do something about this, you know. Mistress, <laughs> give me your brolly. What for? I'm going to smash the pot. What about the child's head? Never you mind that now. We've got to do something quickly. <laughs> It's hard, but don't you break my brolly. <laughs> You'll do nothing of the sort. It's the only pot I've got to make me broth in. <laughs> Look at the poor little head inside. Head be blowed. What will my man say if he gets no broth tomorrow? Look, I'll pay for a new pot if it means getting the child's head out. Oh, well, that's a different matter. Mm -hmm. Here, the sailor man is going to buy us a new pot. We won't have to wait for the doctor after all. Oh, yeah, what if we do it that way? And why not? The blow might kill the poor child. <sighs> Don't do it, Father. Don't do it. Think of me and the children. What would happen if you were hanged? <laughs> Girl, did only say it was child slaughter, not murder. <laughs> he had put the brolly away. I don't want anything happening to him, especially not with his father out of work. I've got it now. I've got a brother whose sister's uncle has got a young fella who's going to the higher grade school. And he's learning all sorts of clever things in the science classes. And he was saying, you can expand metal with heat. So why not sit the child in front of a big roaring fire? Oh, no, I wouldn't do that either. Why not? The heat would cause inflammation of the brain. <laughs> would that be bad? Well, it doesn't sound awful good. No, it doesn't sound good at all. I wouldn't do that either. It reminds me of the time that Tom the Toot had a calf. They got his head stuck in a bucket. It gave them an awful time before they got it off. And, and how did they do it then? I forgot exactly. <laughs> I think they just levered it off. A lever. That's it, boys, a lever. We'll lever the pot of the child's head. Yes, but... Uh... What can we use as a lever, though? I've got it. 
I've got a mighty old Swiss Scout Army knife here, boys. <laughs> This'll do the trick. We'll leave the pot of the child's head with this. No, 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 don't use that. You might cut the nose off the fella. He could spare a bit of that. <laughs> But he's already had a stick in his eye today. Look, I'll be careful, awful. I'll use the bit that I use for getting the stones out of horses' hooves. No, 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 don't do it. You'll murder the child, you cruel beast. And who was going to commit murder? The fella! The brute! And why? Why has this child got a saucepan on his head? Has he no hat? <laughs> do you think I can't afford a hat for me child? He's got that saucepan on his head because we can't get it off. Oh, you want it off? I used to work in a nursery and I encountered all sorts of things like this. It moved! Oh, you think it did? I said again, woman. It's shifting! Got it. Oh, It's no. off! <laughs> What? It's not my child at all! <laughs> It's Mistress Kermit, young fella. I must have picked up the wrong one. 